the highest level of spiritual warfare in which I endured was being possessed with legions of demons and having to fight. Having to fight for my life fast for 40 days, uh, 90 days, you know, 21 days consecutively for three months straight. You know what I'm saying? Doing 21 days, doing 14 days, you know, all these different kind of forms of discipline that God put you through. You know what I'm saying? When you go through that high level, the highest level of spiritual warfare like that, it equips you. You're very strong. So when God takes you through the other part of the process, you got to go all the way down. Because to whom much is given, much is required. You know what I'm saying, y'all? <laughs> God know you strong. He don't put no more on you than you can bear. But how many of y'all willing to do this? How many of y'all willing to do whatever God say? You know what I'm saying? Despite how it make you feel, despite what your family members think, despite how it may grieve them, you know, which is sad, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not the intent or the purpose behind what God is doing in my life. It's not to upset you. It's not to make you sad. It's not to make you worry. Um, you know what I'm saying? But it's to make you believe. <laughs> you know, we got to believe. We got to believe, y'all. We got to live the word of God if we love him. All right. What are you willing to do for God? Mama's right there. See McDonald's right there. Almost there. What are you willing to do for God? What are you willing to do for God? <laughs> or you say, God, nah, this too much. It's too much right here, God. Well, let me tell you what it do. <laughs> it break every form of offense it breaks every form of shame every form of insecurity every form of you worrying about what somebody else thinking about while you walking with your bag your purse and this hill it breaks it breaks it breaks all of that up off of you <laughs> cause all that is not of God all of that equates to brokenness and not wholeness which is what god is getting you to you know what i'm saying all these things deal with the character it deals with your character it deals with your confidence it deals with your self-esteem okay <laughs> it deals with your heart with your love for god that's what it deals with it deals with you walking in your power and authority it deals with dominion having dominion how you gonna have dominion how you gonna stand up before a congregation or preach on a social media live timid and shy with no power and authority you know what i'm saying how you gonna walk with your head held high knowing that god walks in you make shake that he walks in you he walks with you he walks through you. How you going to preach the good news in and out of season? And you got a problem being all the way to the bottom. You got a problem being all the way low. How God going to exalt you if you if you can't get all the way low? And you can't get all the way high then. That don't you know how that go? That's how that go. You know, all of y'all everybody in the world looks at the outward you look at what it looked like oh she walk in the street that's what you see oh she homeless she on the street that's a shame she pitiful that's what you see that's what that's what the world see that's how the world is that's the world mindset that's the flesh that's not the spirit in the spirit my love we have overcome this world this corner this concrete these lights, these folks driving in these cars. You understand? Because at the end of the day, where you going? Where are you going? What spirit is driving you? Is it the Holy Spirit or is it a devil or a demon? This is what we got to get. 
You know, so many people caught up on appearances. Oh, that ain't right. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. It's God, my love. It's God, my love. For God I live, for God I die. How many of y'all willing to do this for God? How many? How many? Where they at? God doing a brand new thing. See, a lot of the people ain't never went through that. They been homeless, but they ain't never been on the street. Hey, God. They ain't never been on the street. See, God doing a new thing. He taking it a step further for this, for this, for this, for this time, this end time that we living in. You know what I'm saying? These lasting the evil days. This world is in a mess. It's in an uproar. Nothing but chaos all around. Poverty, disease. You know what I'm saying? And God says there should be none poor among you. So, if in his word to say that, and we see it's a whole lot of poor among us, and ain't nobody willing to love on the ones that need, and give to the ones in need, then God doing something about that, because his word can't return void, my love. Let go shake. So we got to get this, y'all. What you willing to do for God? Be blessed.